Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This will be the part three on this 20, uh, well, 2011 Ford Fusion SEO. Really, we have, we have a lot of shit in this vehicle, um, and also because we have a dog, um, there are a lot of like nose art on the windows, and also a lot of paw prints. So I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like inside the vehicle, and then we'll, well, I'll explain the plan and how I'm going to be um, cleaning the entire vehicle. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I don't know how well it's going to show, but we're going to be cleaning this part. As you can see, that's all from my dog. We have a um, long-haired miniature dachshund. So that's one of the reasons why there's so much paw prints on here. So that, all that. It's not as bad as some vehicles that I have detailed before. And then I'll show you the interior of it. And then this is, there's weather tech in here, so I'll pull that out and clean it. And then this is the console, as you can see, it is pretty disgusting. Um, that's the <laughs> cup holder, paw prints, and same thing for that side. There are a lot of paw prints on the window, and just a lot of. Oh yeah, and I also have a cabin air filter, so I can replace it one of these days. And this is what the rear looks like. Rear isn't too bad, just needs some good vacuuming. And also for the floor, needs some good vacuuming. And all these needs to go to like a Goodwill. So the game plan is to have to start from the driver's seat. What I like to do the driver's seat uh, uh, first, as it's the it's usually the hardest, as most of the time that's where the most um, grime and dirt and just all the shit is. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna sit there and then start using my brush, detailing brush, uh, with some all-purpose cleaner and um, interior detailing cleaner and. So Start from the steering wheel and then do the center console and then down. Uh, as you can see, that part I can take it out. It's rubber. Uh, if I really wanted to, I can just put it in like a dishwasher and clean it that way. But I'm gonna try t my best to clean it with just uh, warm to hot water and just agitate it with detailing brush and get all of it cleaned out. I like to do is do this area. Um, a lot of time there are dirt and dust that comes out in between this crap.
this part and this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot to warm water um, for this one I'm going to be letting it sit for a little bit maybe like 10-15 minutes while I do the bath um, as this is like coffee tea um, yeah I don't know what it is let it sit so it, it's easier for me to remove all this shit. to hold on to the brake or sometimes if you're if you're um, on like a uphill or downhill the vehicle will roll especially like driveway there is a possibility that it can just roll so make sure to always hold on to the brake if the vehicle is not in the park make sure to have the e-brake on if you have e-brake um, or if you have the um, electric electric e-brake then make sure to have that on the same brush, uh, APC spray, and towels, and while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna clean these and then put it back into its place.
the rear um, door panel because we don't really use it. Um, it's just dirty from dust. So for this area, I'm just going to be using the APC on the microfiber towel and then wipe down and then dry it. Um, I'm not really going to use a brush on this part because there's really no point as there's no like dirt that are stuck. It's more like just surface dust.
mother's protectant. Um, you can use any UV protectant for dash and plastic trims. Um, it doesn't have to be the mother's kind. The kind that I just have is the mother's. As I actually bought a thread by accident. So now I just have to use all of it. Thank you for watching and you guys have a good day.